Hi everyone, Amy here, and today I have a stencil only pet sympathy card to share with you, and there's no stamping on this card. So let's jump right in. I'm going to show you three stencils here. These are all from A Colorful Life Designs. The two on the right are actually in the brand spanking new release in August. And here's a couple photos of the finished card. You can see I don't have the sentiment on the front, but inside of the card rather, and I'm using some simple ink blending and masking to create this beautiful colorful card. But it is single layer. There's no bulk or dimension. It'll be super easy to ship to your recipient and there's no stamping involved because I was able to use a stencil for my sentiment. So um, this is part of the August release, which is very pet centric, lots of adorable critter cuteness. So if you're into pet sort of cards, then you definitely wanna check out this August release and use my coupon and save some cash if you shop. But here I'm just kind of moving the stencils around and figuring out um, the design because I don't have an exact plan in mind. <laughs> per usual, I'm kind of winging it as I go. So I am going to ultimately lay down this cute little angel puppy uh, in the lower right, um, which is often my preferred composition, but I'm going to mask off around this 3x6 stencil so I get ink only where I want it. And I'm using my magnets on my Wendy Vecchi station tool to kind of hold it in place. And I have some distress ink here, and then I quickly changed my mind to a gray instead. Um, this is the hickory smoke, and I'm going to mask off this stencil and then use my blending brush to kind of fill in um, the openings on this stencil for the first step of this card. Now I know that I want to use that um, older plaid stencil um, in the design, and I'm kind of, you know, the wheels are turning as I'm creating this and figuring out how I'm going to create the look that I want. So I'll show you uh, my solution and how I was able to achieve the look that I wanted um, in a moment here. But first of all, I'm just using kind of a light hand uh, in my gray blending brush. This is a cottontail blending brush from the Rabbit Hole Designs, and those are available, as far as I know, in the shop again. So um, they did run out for a while, but they are back as far as I know. So um, be sure to check that out in the video description box below if you're in the market for some blending brushes. But I'm just kind of going heavier handed in spots and lighter handed in others, um, just to kind of give it some dimension and interest. Um, and I do come back in for some more ink because I really want to make sure I, I get the details. This is a pretty simple um, design overall, but I do want to make sure that I get pay attention to the, the detailed lines and the edges of the stencil because then that will really help um, kind of define what the image is supposed to be. So I'm going to pull back um, the magnet and my little low-tack masking tape here to reveal this adorable angel pup design. Now, you hate to have to knead these sort of cards. They're so hard. Um, it's so hard to lose a, a furry family member, but um, they're good to have on hand when you need them. So here I'm showing you this is some uh, sticker paper. I did get it from Amazon. I swear this box is going to last me forever. I will link it in the video description box below, but this is what I use for um, my masking paper. So you can see I'm just grabbing the stencil again, um, and this isn't for um, use on the card, so it doesn't really matter if, if it's good ink blending. I'm just using it to basically get the shape because I'm going to cut around right on the edge and basically create a mask because I want to cover this entire area that I just ink blended with the angel pup so that I can kind of come back in with that other stencil and create the bright beautiful background. So another option would be if you don't want to mask it, you could just stencil your dog on a separate piece of paper and then fussy cut it out and, you know, maybe pop it up with some, some dimension um, on top of your stenciled background. But this didn't take up much time. And like I said, I have a lifetime supply of this uh, masking paper. So um, just make sure that you uh, do your ink blending or your stamping on the correct side. Um, so that it doesn't get reversed on you and then just cut it out and then you can lay this removable sticker paper um, right down over your ink blending to protect that area um, and then you can go buck wild with your <laughs> your ink blending on top of it so I'm just carefully laying that down pressing it down onto the card base um, and then I will bring in this I think it's all in the plaid 
I think is what it's called. I may be wrong, but I will link the correct name um, below the video. But this is a really fun way to add some visual interest and a colorful background. Now I decided to go with uh, some rainbow stenciling here, just kind of playing on the whole, you know, your, your pet crossing the rainbow bridge. It's so sad. I don't even want to think about it. But um, kind of playing on that idea of the, the rainbow bridge. So I'm just using some residual ink on my blending brushes because I don't need it to be super, you know, punchy in the face bright. Uh, you absolutely can bring out whatever inks you have, but you guys know I don't clean my blending brushes. So this is a really easy way to just kind of clean my brushes as I go and use residual ink that's already on there. Um, and I don't even have to mess with the pulling out the ink pads. So this is just my jam. You guys do whatever works for you, but um, using this residual ink allows me to lay down a quick, kind of subtle, but you know, pretty rainbow uh, for the background of this card. And again, I'm just ink blending directly on the card base of Nina Classic Crest 110 pound cardstock. So it'll be nice sturdy cardstock, but doesn't have any bulk, um, be easy to ship. And then I'm just gonna carefully remove this sticker paper. Um, I don't have very much in the way of fingernails right now, so um, you can use a little pokey tool if you need to to kind of get off um, the little detailed bits of <laughs> of your mask. But if you're careful pulling it off, you can absolutely just stick this to something and save it for future use. Um, otherwise, just you know, cut out another one in the future if you need it. But here I'm, I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting it off. So I decided to use my little pokey tool and that does the trick kind of helping me pull up these little edges. I'm trying to save it and not rip it as I go. Um, if, if I didn't care about ripping it, then I could have absolutely done it without the pokey tool. Um, but I am trying to kind of save the mask for future use. So here I'm just pulling it back to reveal the untouched, unblemished, ink blended design here and that gives you the look of layering and dimension but it's really actually just one layer and flat so that's a fun way to just use some simple masking and kind of create the look that you want on your card and here I decide to do the same thing again residual ink where it's even a little bit more subtle still um, because I'm not going back to an ink pad I'm just using some residual ink and continuing that design on the inside of the card and then here's where I come in with the all dogs go to heaven as the sentiment for my card and I am putting that kind of more in a traditional spot on the inside of the card and I will use that for some ink blending to add my sentiment so really super easy way to uh, create a pet sympathy card like I said any sort of sympathy card I like to have them on hand when I need them. It's hard to make them, you know, if you're sad or if you've lost a loved one. So these are the sort of cards I recommend um, for humans and for furry loved ones alike, just to kind of keep it on hand in your stash so you have them when you need them. Um, but be sure to check out this amazing release at A Colorful Life Designs, like I said, for good reasons and bad reasons. So many puppy, kitty, animal cuteness <laughs> in this release. So be sure to check it out and use my coupon and save on your complete order if you shop. And if you enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up. It really does help me out. Um, it encourages YouTube to kind of share my video around. So it really does, does help me to hit the thumbs up. So thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.